stay away from fights. And don't be scared to ask for help. And uh, call me if you need anything. You'll be fine. You nervous? No. First day of the new school. I'm not nervous. Oi. Uh, yeah. You want me to come with you? Don't worry about a kiss. Oh, I'll give you one. If it's that important to you. We have to stop living together. <laughs> oh, I just forgot this bloody lunch. Rory! Rory! Clear, boss. The car? No sign of it. It's a green VK, Holden. Yeah, I didn't get the red jar. Well, we'll do a donut, okay? Mm, okay. The staff are asking whether they can open the school yet. Have they called the rolls? No one's missing. Any ideas? Nothing. No custody disputes, no threats. Hard to imagine it's a random attack, though. We still don't know where this guy's gone. I don't think we've got the staff to keep this place secure. All right, get the teachers to call the parents. School's off today. What was he shooting at? I don't know, boss. Might have been me or maybe... I doubt it. He probably just got in the way. There's three shots fired and they all landed near me. Hey, mate. How you feeling? Better. Come on. Have you found the guy who shot at me? We don't know he's shooting at you. Well, can I go back to school? School's been cancelled. Home? You're staying here. Can I see the cell? No. Look, we'll set you up down here, but you have to stay quiet. The boss is doing me a huge favour by letting you be here. I don't want you getting in his way. Oh, boss. Rory's just going to be here reading quietly. 308. Yeah, it looks like we'll it. Send someone out, sir. We found it on the road. Any idea who the target was? A bit early. Why wouldn't we well, Alex this? was in uniform and he was getting out of a marked car. We'll be there soon. Big shooter. Not quite the way I would have put it. Boss, report a shoplift to Penhope Strip. What do you expect me to do about it? Well, it's just if there's someone taking pot shots at coppers, I'm not too keen People to... People take shots at coppers all the time, acting sergeant. We still have a job to do. Shoplift, send uniforms. All right, guys. Shop theft at uh, Gossie's Electrics. Any sign of trouble, I'll just... I'll come with you. Call for backup. Here's a couple of new faces. You got your chasing your tails yet? Well, the old bastard. He means me. Tom. Gossie. Don't let me stop you. What was stolen, sir? Uh, iPod and carry case. Who was in the store at the time? School kids. A couple of other people. Did you see anyone suspicious? Not until he came in. You're sure that the item was stolen? No, you reckon I'm making it up? No, sir, I'm just checking. It was on display. Someone lifted it. But there's a lock here. It was unlocked at the time. Forget it. What do you mean? You've reported a... Oh, a fat lot of good that's going to do me. We take every report very seriously, sir. Sure. But does he? No, just forget it. Constables? You're limping, Tom. Conscience troubling you. What's the deal with this Gossy guy anyway? Ian Goss was the sergeant out of Widgery. 
lost control of his station, left a suspect with a permanent brain injury, and he lied to me. Mate of yours, boss. He was. Acting sergeant. Mate, what are you doing? I told you, this room. Oh, boy. Boss, have you got those? You okay? Was it detective? Uh, just those briefs of evidence. I think this might be yours. Birthday. You didn't tell us. Hardly cause for celebration. It's from the news agent. They send one every year. Detective? Thanks. It was reported theft. Don't go there. Look, we can't ignore this just because he's got a personal problem with the guy. The boss doesn't trust him, and with good reason. Kel, we are supposed to be here to serve and protect. OK? That's America, you moron. Hey! His personal problem should not come out on the job. And it's not the first time there have been thefts from every single shop on that street. Yeah, I'd hate to say it, but just is right. And the shopkeepers are starting to get really... Foot patrol. Heads down, check it out. <laughs> hey! Do you mind? It sounds like a bloody zoo out here. He started, started it. it. I don't care who... <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Mate, the boss is really cranky today and you're revving this guy up. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Come on. Oh, there you go. I'm bored. Well, isn't there some schoolwork you can be doing? I haven't even been there yet. Well, you've got books. Have a read of them. Get yourself ahead, but just do it quietly. What's with the jacket? Well, who's going to shoplift in front of a couple of uniforms, eh? You just don't want to get shot at. Yeah. So they shoot me instead. Well, if you don't think ahead. Oh, so easy, that's them. All that. Good morning. How are you? You mind? Thank you very much. Thanks. Yours? Constable. Just a second. No, 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 Constable. Just a sec. Name, please, sir. Bob Thorne. You sure? He's made admissions, boss. We were just following up on other reported thefts. All along the strip. We were sent out on patrol. What did he say? That he stole a makeup kit. Do you know him? Uh, from church. So it's been a while since you've seen him? I'll sit in with him. Oh. It's true. Did you forget you still had it with you when you left the shop? Sorry, Tom. You meant to pay, but you forgot, is that it? No. I didn't forget I had it. I meant to steal it. Why? This isn't the first time. back there? Nothing. Bob? There's nothing back there. Tom?
You remember Tim? This is Tom from church. Yeah, it's been ages. How are you? Fine. You're having a day at home. Feeling better though, aren't you, Tell? Oh, that's good. That's all right. Won't be necessary. Okay. Just give me a few moments, will you? How long has she been sick? Oh, 18 months. I didn't know. Leukemia. We gonna help? No, it's just the two of us. I, I can't work, not while she's sick. Benefits? <laughs> Keeps us alive. I just want our last months to be. Taking the stuff back, all of it. We'll explain the situation. With a bit of luck, the shopkeepers will withdraw their complaints and then we won't have to charge you. Do you think they will? They're not monsters. You're a good man, Tom. Don't say that. Ah, uh, boss? I can get on the property cage for the time being. Boss, what about Mr Thorne? What about him? Well, we should have brought him back with us if we're going to charge him. We are going to charge him, right? I believe there are extenuating circumstances. I'll be talking to the shopkeepers, asking them to sign a statement of no complaint. I guess it's who you know. Got a person of interest on the shooting. Frank Slater. Hmm. Another name. Violent offender, acquitted in WA for attempted murder and assault police. He's got a son in Barwon Prism for armed rob. Car? A Green Holden VK. Rego expired two years ago. We've also got a 308 rifle registered to an Irene Slater. Same address. 308. Bring him in. Who's this? Slater's kid, Slater's mum, no sign of Slater himself. I told you, I don't know where he is. Have we found the rifle yet? Nothing. Why can't you bastards leave us alone? In your room, Sash? Yeah, thanks, Matt. What about this bloke? Passive interview room. I'll be there in a minute. Want a drink? <laughs> Seen your dad recently, Ricky? He's in Tasmania. He's away a lot, is he? Yeah. You must miss him. I bet he misses you. I've got a boy. He's a few years younger than you. Yeah, I bet your dad misses you. Dad's a prick. Have you seen him lately? Where is he? Who cares? Tazzy. Is he doing some shooting down there? What? We well, Nan's rifle. We couldn't find it. Just wondering if your dad's got it with him. Has your dad come back from Tasmania, Ricky? You protecting him? Dad can go to hell. Our records show a 308 hunting rifle registered to an Irene Slater. That's you, isn't it? Where's the rifle? I don't know. We'll be searching the house, Mrs Slater. Fine. You uh, seen your son lately? Frank left home months ago. Tassie, 
looking for work. And I haven't heard from him for weeks. Well, what about the car? What car? The Holden VK. Oh, no. I haven't been near it. Why would you say that? Well, it hasn't been registered since 2003. I haven't been near it. You must be very proud of your boys, Mrs Slater. Son Frank has a record a mile long. Grandson Russell doing time in Barwon. It's quite a family. You can't get to Russell anymore. You people. Your records show guns and cars and every other thing. But they won't show when a kid's taken a bed sheet and hanged himself. Russell. Barwon Prison. A month ago. You can't get to him anymore. Do you believe her? That she doesn't know where the sun is. Got onto a sawmill where Slater was working. He was in Tassie till at least three weeks ago. What happened? Well, they said he got some bad news from home and took off. Just after his son died. Sounds like motive to me. And the rifle matches the calibre of the school shooting. What about the car? There's no sign of it. This is Slater's now claiming it's been stolen. My guess is Frank Slater's come back from Tassie with a vendetta against the police. He's hiding out somewhere and... Boss? Better let these idiots go. Organise a sit-off at their place. Yes, boss. Tom? Problem, detective? No. Fawn has made admissions. He's also copped to earlier thefts. The iPod, phone, CD player, CDs and stuff, all from here. And I'm asking you to sign a statement of no complaint. Probably damaged. Well, check it. I believe there are extenuating circumstances. Mate of yours? His daughter's dying of leukaemia. That's not my problem. I'm asking you to show a bit of compassion. Did you show me any? This isn't about us. Isn't it? Whatever you think of me, don't take it out on Bob Thorne. Please. Charge the bugger. Hard world, isn't it? Uh, Tom, you'll need this. Evidence. Gossie, did you see him? Gossie! I didn't say a thing. Well, nothing. I was on the floor, mate. There was a car. Yeah? What model? Well, I didn't see it. Drive by, eh? <laughs> the old Mount Thomas isn't what it used to be. Have you had a disagreement with anybody lately? Oh, there is this one bloke. Wouldn't put it past him to organise something like this, considering. Oh, for God's sake, someone just shot you. I'm in retail now. Why would anybody be shooting at me? You're the one they'll be aiming for. I'm sure Detective Fox will have some questions for you. I'm serious. Retirement's the best thing that's ever happened to me. You should think about it yourself, Tom. You look like you could do with it. Get well soon, Gossy. You're dead. Man, you can't shoot around corners. You're dead now. Right, mate. I think you should get ready for bed. We were shot at this morning. 
Do you think that's appropriate? He's a kid. He's acting it out. It's good for him. You were shooting each other. And? Uh... Have you brushed your teeth? Bring me a story. Sorry, mate. Can't. Jones has to go to work. It's night time. I know, mate. Got a couple of people to keep an eye on. Have fun. Well, I can read too if you want. Matilda? No one calls me that anymore. Oh. There you go. You brought them back? Most of it. The shopkeepers donated it. I'm sorry I had to take some of it away for a while. That's okay. It's a silly confusion, but it's all sorted out now. Did Dad steal them? Yes, he did. Is he in trouble? A little, but he'll be all right. I promise, okay? He's a good man. The shopkeepers will take that into account. I don't need all these things. He just wants you to be happy. Dad doesn't want to talk about it. He keeps saying everything's fine. Mike, you don't lose all you have for nothing. He thinks I haven't worked it out. But I know I'm going to die. Can you talk to Dad? He won't talk to me. Please? Bob, uh, Tilly and I were talking. Uh, there's something that she wants... Don't tell. I can't believe they donated all that gear. They didn't have to do that. I explained your situation and they just wanted to help. Uh, there is one shopkeeper who won't withdraw his complaint. There's a bit of bad blood between us. So we will have to charge you. It's a minor offence. Good behaviour, Bond. No jail. Thanks. You really do need to talk to her. I talk to her every day, mate. No. Talk. If you don't mind. She's my daughter. This is my problem. Bob. No. I appreciate your help, but you've got no idea. I do know about She's lot. my child. Thanks for coming, Tom, but I'd like you to go now. The portal was closing fast now, and in another ten seconds she'll be trapped on the wrong side. She cried out, I'm not ready! Will, I'm not ready! What? You do funny voices. You don't like the voices? Why don't you read normally? Jonesy reads normally. Does he? Yeah. Do you want me to keep reading? I don't know. You don't know. What do you want? Jonesy to come home. Rough head. Yeah, Slater's led a pretty rough life. Anything? Nah, the place is dead. You think this guy'd be looking after the son he's still got? Instead of this. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Guess so? He's taking pot shots at coppers. Yeah, but the bloke's just lost his son. 
doesn't justify it. No, of course not. It sounds like the boy was turning out just like his dad. Yeah, but he was still his son. Look at Alex and Rory. Alex is struggling, but... You know, when it's a kid... Uh, doesn't love just take over? You'd like to have kids, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. You? Yeah. <laughs> hey, how'd you go? Myself. Acting sergeant, acting dad. Look, he, he just doesn't like me. And I'm not sure that I like him. Are you doing a great job? You reckon? He's just landed on the doorstep. You need time to get used to each other. Well, what if we just don't like each other? Look, you're not going to be great, mate, straight away. Anyway, you're his dad. You're not his best friend. Jonesy? Hey, mate. Tuck me in, Jonesy. I'm sorry, mate. No. Go on. Right. Hey. Did you catch them? The baddies? <laughs> we will. Shop of yours, keeping you busy? I oh, can't complain, meaning yeah, pretty bloody busy. Well, that's good. Walk in the park compared to being a copper, especially those last two years. Well, I've seen the shop, you know, I've been past. Hmm, should have called in. I could sell you an iPod. Not really my scene. No, it wasn't mine either. Well, you could learn. I should have dropped him. See how you're going. Oh, we're both busy men. I'm glad it's worked out. Retirement doesn't have to be the end of it all, mate. You'd have plenty of super by now. I won't be needing it. That mate of yours... Uh... Mum with the kid. Thank you. It's all right. I don't think it's going to be batteries. It doesn't have batteries. You plug it into the back of the computer. Computer? What's that? <laughs> can I try it now? Of course you can, darling. Off you go. She knows, Bob. She's a smart girl, for God's sake. You've got to talk to her. And what do I tell her, Tom? I tell her about what's going to happen. About what you're going to do when she's gone. You've been a good father. You've done a great job. But she doesn't need makeup and clothes from you right now. 
The more you put on a brave face, the more alone she's going to feel, and she does not need to feel alone. Not now. I used to pray for her. But what sort of a god would do this to a ten-year-old girl? I don't know. But I do know your job isn't finished yet. Boss. Anything? Nothing. If Frank Slater is in the area, he stayed clear of his family last night. All right, keep on it. A raw comparone are out there. Right, police, senior detective Jane speaking. Uh, just hang on. Alex? Yeah? Did you take Rory to school? Dropped him off 15 minutes ago. Well, I can't find him. Go around again. He's not here, mate. Go around again. He'll be fine. What if he's been kidnapped? Oh, come on. Someone's out there taking shots at coppers. Yeah, but what are the chance? They saw us yesterday. We dropped Roy off in a marked vehicle. I dropped him off today. I was in uniform. What if someone was watching? No. And where is he? Now Thomas 258, the VKC. We are currently in pursuit of a vehicle believed to be connected to yesterday's shooting. How many heads? Only one. Appears to be male. Age uncertain. We already may have Rory. Can you see the boy, 258? No. Well, what makes you think he's there? Turning to Farris Street. I can't find him, boss. Maintain pursuit. Seat 900. I just spoke to the principal. Rory didn't turn up for school this morning. Well, it still doesn't mean that Slater's grabbed the boy. And a green VL matching Slater's was seen near the school this morning. Where did Alex and Jonesy commence pursuit? Outside the school. Maybe Alex was right. Turning left into Beersheba Street. Right into Bennett, entering the new industrial estate. Take extreme caution. Got him. Thomas 258, shot fired. Hold your position. We're on our way. It's the kid! It's Ricky Slater! I'm gonna check the car. Just forget the car. Rory might be in there. Alex! Just cover me! Mount Thomas 260 to 258. What's the situation, Jones? Mount Thomas 258. The fender is armed and taken off on foot. Do not approach. Gordon and contain. Is Kirby with you? He's checking the car. Get him back, Jones. I repeat. Cordon and contain. Rory! Rory!
Alex? Alex? in the building. I've ordered him back. He thinks the kid might know something about Rory. Graham, get an ambulance out here now. One member risking his life. So what do we do? We wait. Put my gun away. You see that? Mate, why are you doing this? You ask my brother! You ask him why! Look, when you lose someone, that's all you can think about. I understand that. You have to do anything about it! Huh? If anyone hurt someone I loved, I'd want to make them pay. I want to tear them apart, but... That doesn't make it any better. It just makes it worse. Mate, what would Russell say if he could see you now? You don't have to go to jail. Get, get back! Not for Russell. Look, he wouldn't want that. Don't come any closer! It's all right. Just... I'm just gonna put this over there, okay? in the school this morning. I, I didn't take anyone. Where is he? Hey, where did you die this? Hey, hey, where is he? He hey, knows where Rory is. Okay, mate, he okay. knows where Rory is. Where is he? Where is he? No. No. What did he say? Alex. Did he say anything about Rory? No. He's made full admissions about both the shootings, but I don't think he knows it. I'm sorry I got rough in you back there. I need to ask you something. I don't know what kid you're talking about. That kid is my son. His name's Rory, and I love him. Just like you love Russell. But I need to know where he is. So if you know anything... I told you! Did you hurt him? I never saw him! Tell me! I told you! Listen, I don't want to rip your head off him! I don't care about kids! I don't! I just wanted to kill cops! Acting Sergeant, please.
Alex. Got scared after the shooting. Boss? Happy birthday. You should do something about your back. It's not my back. You should see a doctor. There is nothing a doctor can do to help me. Sorry for the intrusion. Detective. Amy. Need to grab your own glass. I'll get one. 